I think this is part 12 or part 11 of my Bunny Hunter play playthrough. But let me show you this armor set real fast, though. This death stroke of our arm armor set. It's uh, Cybernetic Pauldron's chest guard. A well, Cybernetic Pauldron's armor set, the whole thing, with the Resilient Warden's uh, rebreather or headpiece. Still, we still got the same weapon, but it is what it is, ain't it? I'm going to change it soon, but I just don't know when, you know? I'm, I'm kind of torn between if I want to stay, uh, uh, what they call it? Uh, assault Cannon or just this. But we are going to Balmora after we just finished, uh, I think, Narshada. Yeah, we just finished Narshada up here. Let's just travel there real fast. <clears throat> Hold on, let me move my mic just a little bit. This little animation always gets gets me. It just hits right. You notice the Great Hunt never sends us anywhere nice? The Empire's been fighting for control of Balmara for years. Death tolls in the high seven figures. How is there anything left to fight over? The weapons factories are built to withstand attack. The people aren't. Let's see what Krista has to say about our job here. It's starting the hollow now. Welcome to Balmora, Hunter. Your target is the right impressive Admiral Iverness. They call him Admiral Untouchable. Spends all his time on a fancy flagship surrounded by armed soldiers. Can't kill what you can't touch, Hunter. You gotta lure Admiral Iverness off his flying fortress and down to Balmora. To make things even more interesting, no friendly contacts here. You gotta figure this out yourself. And don't forget, the job ain't done till you're the only hunter left standing. Good luck. I make my own luck. That's what I like most about you. He's a war hero, all right. Actually won some battles against the Mandalorians. Wonder if that's how he got on the list. Hmm, this is interesting. Turns out one of the Admiral's toadies is in the market for a bounty hunter. Let's get every piece of information on them you can pull down. The job list in contact is Lieutenant Major Purell. And get this, discretion is of the utmost importance. Whatever this is, Purell wants it secret. Let's apply for a job, and see if we can't work our way up to the Admiral. Lieutenant Major Purell's office is at the Imperial base in Sobrick. Let's go impress him and see where it leads. Okay, so apparently the uh, the list that we're going through for this whole Great Hunt is a Mandalorian blacklist, I think. Cause that's what it seems like like enemies of the mandalorians is who we're going up against well who's on the bunny list i should say sorry if you hear some background noises we got some fam got family over you there bounty hunter we want a word with you. What are you supposed to be? I'm Vor. This is my sister, Vi. We've come to collect a debt from you, and we expect payment in full. We Corellians are very particular about our debts. You killed our brother Vex, you pile of scum. You got anything to say for yourself? Vex had a bounty on him. I'm a bounty hunter. End of story. He was that Corellian bank robber on Hutter, right? The fast draw guy. You couldn't take him in a stand-up fight, so you shot him in the back. Now you're going to pay the price. The name Taro Blood ring a bell? He told us how you slaughtered Vex and then killed the old man, Brayden, when he discovered your crime. Brayden? I, I can't believe even Taro would stoop that low. Brayden was more than just my mentor. He was my friend. Taro killed him. The only one getting fried here is you. And for nothing, you're gonna die for a lie. Hey, hang on, Vi. What if the bounty hunter's telling the truth? You take the word of this mongrel who killed our brother? No, but I'm not sure I trust Taro Blood either. What if we're being used? Taro sent other people after me too, and they're all dead. Listen to how smug she is. She killed Vex. There's no doubt about it. What if he wasn't shot in the back? If this bounty hunter killed Vex in a fair fight, what chance do we have? You're smarter than you look for. If I'm gonna die, it ain't gonna be because I was too dumb to walk away. Let's go. But what about Vex? We made a promise. 
Our brother's dead. Getting ourselves killed won't change that. Come on. That's an extremely smart man. I'd say I'd say so myself. But this armor set is pretty cool, though. I like. I like. It. I, I found out. Well, I didn't find out, but I saw it when it came out. But I never really paid attention to it. Now that I'm looking at it, now that I looked at it, it actually looks uh, really good. With the little arm, like the armor and the arm, on one side and, and the other side, you know what I'm saying? I just think it looks aesthetically cool. So brick. I wonder if Balmora is uh is in any of the canon movies. I wouldn't know because I haven't seen everything. I know what happens in all of them, but I haven't seen, you know, some like I haven't actually sat down and watched movies. Welcome to the office of Lieutenant Major Perel. I am ODX-9. How may I be of assistance? Tell your boss he has a visitor. I'm terribly sorry, but the Lieutenant Major is in a meeting and cannot be disturbed. If I may inquire, with whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Just announce me to the Lieutenant Major already. My sincerest apologies, but the Lieutenant Major is currently in a meeting and cannot be disturbed. Thank you for visiting Lieutenant Major Perel's office. Have a pleasant day. Get the Lieutenant Major right now. Oh, yes, yes, right away. I'm so sorry to bother you, Lieutenant Major. The Republic had better be bombing the planet, you worthless piece of junk. Sir, forgive me. I had no choice. There's someone here. I don't care who's out there, you scrap pile. I told you I was not to be disturbed. I'm answering your encoded request for help. Sir, shall I call security? Uh, no, no. That's not necessary. Send our guest in right away. This time, make sure we are not disturbed for any reason. Any reason. Understood? Perfectly, sir. I will unlock the door right now. Perel's our only connection to Admiral Ivernus, so let's make Lieutenant Major a very satisfied customer. <laughs> All right. She's asking us to not start trouble. My apologies for the poor welcome. I never informed that idiot droid I was hiring a bounty hunter. I'm assistant to the naval attaché of the governor of Balmora. I specialize in intelligence gathering. Master is wise and powerful. This is Mergir, an amusing gift from a friend on Drummond Cass. What she lacks in intelligence, she makes up for in entertainment value. Let's get down to business, shall we? My superior, Colonel Sartius, is an incompetent fool. I toil in his shadow, though his job should rightfully be mine. You're mighty proud of yourself, aren't you? I have served this empire with distinction for years, and yet I'm still merely a lieutenant major. Unacceptable. But what's most infuriating is that Colonel Sartius has the full confidence of Admiral Ivanus. Colonel Sartius remains in power because he excels at hiding his gross incompetence from the Admiral. But we're going to tear down that facade. The Colonel loses his job, Admiral Ivernus comes here and gives you a promotion. We're going to work well together. I can tell. I want you to create... problems for Colonel Sartius. Problems I'm confident he can't deal with. Your missions will involve plenty of mayhem and destruction. And the pay is quite generous. Interested? Mayhem and destruction are my specialties. Then it was fate that led you here. Your first target is the Okara Droid Factory. Before the Empire invaded Balmora, we sabotaged the facility, turning the droids into crazed killing machines. Colonel Sartius is very close to deciphering the facility's control codes. If he does, it will bring the droids fully under the Empire's control. 
The Colonel cannot be allowed such a victory. I sent a data slicer to enter a code scrambling virus into the facility's computer system. Very sneaky, Lieutenant Major. Yes, I was rather proud of that plan myself. Unfortunately, it didn't work. The security team escorting the slicer was killed by the facility's droids. Now the slicer is trapped inside. The slicer refuses to input the virus until I send a rescue team. I'm sending you. The slicer's name is Zalia. Force her to input the virus into the system. Then eliminate her. No loose ends. We'll have more business to discuss when you return. <laughs> this guy, he gives me the sleazy vibes. Like he's one of them. He's one of them nasty niggas. I mean, he does. He does look like one of them. But I don't want to, you know, I don't want to call him, call him out on his looks. But if I was to, not saying I am, but if I was to, I'm saying he, he's one of those. But more is top five worst uh, planets I could ever, you could ever live on. Well, you could ever want to live on. Cause it's, it's, it reminds me of Karelia. Maybe because they're both like war zones right now. Like in the Old Republic right now. But like, it just, the atmosphere is just garbage. You know what I mean? I, I, I'll take, um... Something that looks more like Alderaan's atmosphere. You know? Alderaan or um or late night terrace. Tatooine is also not, not too bad, but too much shit goes on in Tatooine for me to uh, for me to be able to live on there. Let me stealth my way out of this. Oi, what? Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. I didn't even read it, but I knew what it was. I knew what it was gonna do. That was sick. I like that. <laughs> that was sick as fuck. Oh, there she is. We gotta take your ass out. You're Azalea the Slicer, right? Perel sent me. Yeah. Thank the stars. I don't know how much longer I could have held out. My reconnaissance team was evaluating the factory's computer systems when the droids overpowered us. The droids slaughtered my team. I've been stuck here for days without food, water, or sleep. I'm here to make sure you input the virus. You know about that? But I can't do what Perel wants. It's impossible. If I put the virus in the computer's control program, it'll trigger alarms. Those droids will swarm us. I'll make a nice big scrap pile out of them. There are dozens of them out there. Crazy killing machines. You can't fight them all. We've gotten out of way worse situations. We'll be fine. You're totally set on this, aren't you? Okay. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Again, sorry if you hear background noises. I have a lot of shit going on right now in the house. What's the next wave? Hit me. Damn, okay. Oh, that was it. Sick. I can't believe we're still alive. You'll be fine now. Oh, my stars. Thank you. You're amazing. I've never seen anything like that. I'm bailing out of here before more droids show up. Running away never felt so good. My contract with Perel stipulates no loose ends. That means you. Oh. Oh, no. Please don't kill me. I swear I'll go straight. I'll never slice another computer. Just let me go. You're asking me to break my deal with Perel. 
I have a family to take care of. Parents who depend on me. I'm begging you. Pharrell's an idiot anyway. He'd never know if you let her go. I never want to see you again. Got it. You won't. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. I'm never gonna do nothing to make Mako mad. You know, you know how it is. That's that's my sister for life. Even though we met her like what? I say ten episodes ago. <laughs> but I guess we just head back and we felt like cool. Ooh, he looks that's a sick sick um um safe. Too bad his forehead is fucking massive, but hey. That's how it goes sometimes. Just gotta live with it. Welcome back. I take it everything went well? And the Okara droid factory is running smoothly? And what about Zalia? I trust that slicer won't be a problem. It's like she never even existed. The Admiral will soon see my worth. Master is so wise. Remain silent, my pet. Or I shall discipline you again. Oh. And you don't want that, do you? Here is your payment for taking care of the slicer, my friend. Excellent work. Your next assignment concerns the local fauna. Colonel Sarsius is responsible for keeping our citizenry safe from the deadly colicoids infesting this planet. Deadlier than a bunch of killer droids? Colicoids are vicious, giant, insect-like creatures that devour anything in their path. Their exact origin on Balmora is unclear. After the Empire's invasion, the Balmorans released mutated colicoids into the wilderness. The creatures successfully bred and have become a plague on the population. The colicoids have become almost docile in recent months. Attacks are down all across the planet. That makes Colonel Sarsius look like he's got this plague under control. But we know better, don't we? You want to stir up these creatures, make them angry. Precisely. The only thing to do with docile colicoids is make them hostile. The last time they attacked in force was when a survey team accidentally encountered a colicoid queen. It took five squads to kill her. Zupuda no pajunki, faguta ji uta vukise. Guptola, du patwana duana wanki, slimo pod yukata janga. I'll need to know what tools to take for the job. Kiko ubakili, wata bunga dunko, putoga wata. Place this sonic device near the nest entrance. It will confuse and anger the colicoids. Kill any drones and warriors you see. Eventually, the queen will reveal herself. The sonic device will disorient her, leveling the playing field so you get a fair shot. Be fast and careful. <laughs> 